Hello, hello, welcome to Fun Fact Video Number 9. This one correlates to the course at CHA Academy for how to deal with toxic co-workers, which applies to learning how to deal with toxic narcissistic abusers in any environment. So the five steps will benefit anyone who wants to learn how to deal with the toxic narcissistic abusers because we realize that for most of us, yes, we have to simply go limited contact, at least for a season or so, uh, until God can, will deliver us out from under that. And, you know, then there's those of you who are in your calling at the job. You know, it's your passion. It's what you know you've been called to do. And so the enemy wants to try to trick you into leaving. All right, so that's why we've got that course also, because you don't, yeah, we don't abandon our calling. Mm -mm. When God calls us to do something, we don't abandon it. So here's your fun fact, though, okay? Because you will learn in step one how to separate your work and personal lives, okay? Meaning how to separate the external from the internal. External being that the environment, right? Okay. And then the internal being personal, right? There's your connection. So what happens is the toxic narcissistic abusers, yes, they love to keep them combined. Because believe it or not, you know, as we continue on the spiritual awakening, mm -hmm, yeah, in God's reality, we learn that, hold up a second. Yes, that God had to turn everything back around into the upright position. Because we learn that the enemy paint things as opposite of what they really are. So keeping the external and internal combined like that, contributes to emotional dysregulation and to keep things chaotic and dramatic. All right? Never forget that. All right? That's why they like to keep those things combined and basically kind of like oppressed, if you will. So once we learn how to separate that, because that concept applies to the trauma healing process too, for getting that balance between the spiritual and the physical by learning how to separate the two for that proper discernment. So there you go. And and all of that, when the narcissistic abusers like to keep those internal and external things combined, yeah, that leads to instability and a double mind. And we know what God says about a double mind. That's right. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Meaning emotional distress dysregulated emotionally dysregulated there you go <laughs> okay that's what it's all about all right you all seriously if you've got any questions you know where to reach me and the link to that course and the other courses are always in the youtube video description below sending love and light to all fellow warriors thank you for watching listening and for your support until next time let's show some gratitude to the heavenly father and you keep being you in jesus name amen